Yo, Jack. Jack Black? Yeah. Hey, it's your agent. So I've got no uh, project for you if you, you know, if you are interested. You are. Great. So here's the thing. You'll be playing a mortician for this uh, really small town. Uh, you befriend this, like the town bitch essentially, and uh, eventually you grow sick and tired of her, you kill her, and you confess, and you go to jail. You're interested. Great. Uh, just one thing. It's a true story. Bernie is directed by Richard Linklater and stars Jack Black, Shirley MacLaine, and Matthew McConaughey. This story is based off of a true story of this guy named Bernie who was a mortician in this small town. Uh, he was like the nicest guy apparently. Uh, the film is more or less like a dramedy, maybe like a black comedy mixed with documentary style filmmaking where they will interview the, the folks of the town in discussing Bernie and how he was and who he was like and then you know this bitch played by Shirley McLean. I'm a fan of Jack Black more or less. The only time I really liked him in a film was in King Kong and to this day I defend it as his best performance uh, as an actor. And from reviews that I've read of this movie they said it this is his best performance. He plays it, you know, with pristine. And while he is probably the best part of this film because honestly this film isn't all that great in my opinion. This is in my opinion his second best performance. I still to this day and his best work was in King Kong. Now despite his performance being really good, the one really just big problem that I had was that I didn't find the character that he was playing very interesting. It doesn't have to do with his performance, he was great. And this is going to sound contradictory, I know, but honestly, he's a great actor in this film, but his character is not that interesting. He's, he's so nice, and honestly, nice people aren't interesting. If movies have taught us anything is that nice folks aren't interesting. Don't believe me? It's called The Man With No Name Trilogy People, Clint Eastwood, Ring a Bell. And I just didn't like Shirley MacLaine's character. I mean, you're meant not to like her and that makes sense because she's a bitch just in general, but I just didn't like the character. She, she, she wasn't interesting at all. All the townspeople in their interviews were saying how she's just, you know, she's just the meanest person in town and they don't really give you a lot of examples like this is one of those films where it's kind of telling you more than showing you. They give you one example where she like whacks a guy with a broomstick a couple times but that's like her gardener. But besides that all she does is just sit there stone faced like a military man and just you know hmm. And while that might mean you know okay she's not very social or she doesn't like to you know be around folks doesn't necessarily mean that she's mean. And Matthew McConaughey he's got a shirt on for once. That's right he's got a shirt on. One thing I found kind of odd is how we never get to know the backstory of this character. Like, we never know his family, we never see any pictures of him when he was younger. And to be honest, when you, this is, goes for any character, if you want me, the audience member, to care for somebody, give me their backstory. It just doesn't matter what it is, it can be stupid, it can be genuine, just give me their backstory. Okay, and this is based on a true story, so obviously this guy's got a real life backstory that doesn't need to be changed, doesn't need to be altered, it just give me the facts, what was this guy like? But since that doesn't exist, it's kind of hard for me to care about him, even though he's not interesting in the first place, so. We learn that Bernie is well known for approaching the, uh, you know, family the, who lost, you know, the whoever died, and he will continually visit them and just, you know, bring in gifts and whatnot. So for some reason he chooses just to hang out with Shirley McLean for the entire time. He doesn't spend any time with either folks as much as her and we never get an explanation as to why. And then his sexuality comes into uh, debate and, you know, it's, you know, was he gay, was he straight, whatever. He's not married, you know, he doesn't have any kids. And then they bring up the whole fact that all the girls in town are kind of all over him, but he spends more time with the older woman. But the funny thing is that they never show the younger women his age trying to ask him out or whatever. He's always with the older women. I mean, honestly, people, give me a visual example. Telling me is one thing. Showing me so I can see it with my eyes is completely different. It's called visual storytelling, okay? This is not a paper. Give me something I can see. This sounds like I'm bitching. I apologize, I don't mean to bitch about this film, it's not a bad movie. It is not a bad movie. It's just a film that I didn't particularly enjoy. That being said, two and a half out of five stars.
this is another film, like maybe the art house film, where you know, probably nowhere near you. If it is, maybe check it out, but I suggest that you just, you know, click, add Netflix queue, and you're good.